Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 with Japan. And we have painted a map. We have painted a map a lot. And we are just finishing off the masterpiece that is called Japan. Well, Blitzkrieg kind of, since we're using German tactics. Lots of heavy tanks. And now we've even switched out most of our normal infantry to, well, not heavy tanks, but we're using tanks. To say and we switch out our infantry to add a complete line of medium tanks um i just looked around a tiny bit before well i started recording and i noticed holy shit just let's check like one month ago or the latest month 800 tanks and the latest 12 months <laughs> 38,000 tanks and lost for other reasons aka attrition holy shit we have just been losing way, way, way too many medium tanks. And I don't think we can support that losses for very long. So I might want to just remove all of them currently. And then when we invade the United States, we add them again. Or I I will actually just remove some of them. That would grant us a big, big extra help. And just the latest. I will lose some. I will lose, well, some of my hardness, which I kind of liked. I will still have some status bonuses, some more organization, a lot less supply use, and combat width will be reduced. Um, maybe I should, I will even do like this. Let's say, let's see, <laughs> let's say, not let's see what we can do. No, no, I still want to keep this one. Yeah, we're going to keep at 46, uh, 48, yeah, 48, why not? Oh, uh, 50, yeah, 50, why not? 50, a solid 50, that's nice. Save it there, and we will still have, well, quite a bit, quite few <laughs> medium tanks now in reserves. 24,000, yeah, that's, I'm completely alright with 27,000. <laughs> so you guys, you, yeah, you still won't be able to push over, and you never will. So let's just have you stay there for reserve. Uh, you're standing at a port, why, why even all re those three provinces? Just stay at that single province, actually. Why even have an order? All of you just go straight there. Uh, the rest of you, let's see over here. You should push forward because I don't think they can stand against us. Uh, let's actually make sure this and let's make order like that. Hopefully that will work. I do not know, maybe. Uh, U5, you are basically ready for the invasion of Australia and I think I will launch it. So, yeah, I don't really think we are waiting for anything special. I would probably add, wait, this is 14, that's a 10 group. Yeah, let's just add you so we have a 24 group right here. And why are you not going? Because we miss support. All oh, right, yeah, we definitely miss support. So let's take the Japanese 4th fleet and just move it once again to this, this, and let's see, most likely that area. And you should just be running quite instantly cool cool okay let's see if we can do something against australia because they have so many troops 83 to 140 and that might be quite hard to actually break and someone was just called into the war i don't know who oh here guatemala just seem to be called in because they're enough threatened by me well i'm kind of surprised they're not ever calling and calling in everyone but yeah Sure, why not? Uh, let's just finish off. Like, I discussed this with myself a bit. And I probably just want to declare war against these two nations to begin with. So we have a... Well, a s slightly larger front when we eventually declare war on everyone. If just I declared war on all these nations at the same time, they would just stack their troops here. And it would be a humongous slog fest. Just slowly, slowly breaking. But just the um, troops from Costa Rica and Panama shouldn't be any trouble. We'll see if, well, United States have placed 500 divisions right here. I don't think so, but we'll see. And it seems like you are trying to break free from my encirclement. No, you're not going to break free. I'm going to keep you stuck right there. And let's see. They are continuously adding even more fighters to, well, fight against us. So we're going to increase this one to 1,000 since we're increasing air bases right here. We're going to increase this one to 1,000 and we're going to add even more. It doesn't really matter for me where we fight the US fighters, just that we bring them down with time to spare. And I want you to be... Right, right, you're not assigned just yet. Uh, this and this, cool. Actually, we can assign some more of them. Let's say you two, just whatever. 
And I think, uh, yeah, conflict. And we have one more finished right here. I'm gonna add 400, just. I, you're pr pretty much probably gonna get finished when the planes arrive, so why not? Okay, and was there any more? Yes, two more right th Oh, actually here, 1000. Let's add that one. Cool. And you're also gonna be assigned right here. That should give by us some time before we actually have to do that one more time. And how supply up here? Not the greatest, not the greatest at all. Uh, let's just double check it a bit. Why is the icon not popping up? That's one area, yeah, right? Okay, a bit a bit weird. Isn't it counted as ours? It is. All right, um, tiny bit weird, but I can just look through here. Army required. Supported twenty six. Uh, let's see. Local uh, areas modifier infrastructure seems to be hindering it. Right. Wait, wait. The icon showing up over there. Okay, seems to be something weird right there. Um, but um, I, it's not surprising that it actually doesn't support all the tanks that are right there. Especially since you don't even have one level 10 port. I'm gonna add two. And that should most likely help quite a bit with that. Uh, while you should not have any problem with just invading Panama or the US border or Costa Rica for that matter. So supply won't really matter super much until this moment. But unless we hadn't fixed all the infrastructure right here. Yeah, look here. Our supply is coming in right here. I was pointing at my screen. Of course you can't see it. I was coming in right here, going up this entire way up to the north. And yeah, we would probably have some trouble otherwise. But we have fixed the infrastructure basically everywhere we could fix it a tiny bit more here let's add that one that single province too but otherwise that we're doing quite fine and i just realized we shouldn't have construction on more like we should have construction repair there's a lot of stuff needing of repair right now and i think we'll gain a bit more on just preparing everything than actually building more stuff research slots let's continue modern tanks you are finally done uh, naval doctrines let's do a bit more escort efficiency plus 15 percent yes give me that now and we should probably start producing the modern tanks right now. Uh, where do we do it? Has it been a while since we entered the constru construction screen? So uh, we're gonna increase reliability. We're gonna increase. Let's see. What's with most main gun armor? That reduces the entire reliability completely. If we had just engine a bit more, then we still have twenty percent bonus in reliability. Since I kind of want to add the modern tanks to my infantry units instead of doing the medium tanks, the medium tanks is just going to be medium tanks. The modern tanks is going to be added to all my infantry units, just so I have them kind of separated. Um, yes, let's see. Modern tank. I didn't add Mark One. Okay, cool. Modern tank Mark One. Let's add a couple lines of you. But it seems like most of the factories are right now destroyed, or actually all of them are destroyed, so we might have to fix that somehow. Carrier bombers, total need 95, so we need a tiny bit more. Let's cancel that single line and have some medium tanks going on, if we even have time to switch them out. We'll see. Uh, outdated equipment. Alright, oh, still, the fighters, we didn't switch them out. Uh, let's just do like this. So, what's not switched out? Here, close air support, level two. Was this, was that it? Yes, it was. And now let's see, three dockyards. Can we build anything more? Uh, let's switch everything out one more. No, I want to see this. Okay, we're doing some with some carriers. Actually, quite a lot of carriers. Some battleships level two. I think we need some light cruisers over there. So we're just gonna add one complete line of that. Actually, you're right here. And you're doing Japanese fleet. No, you should do the same place as the other, other ones. Yeah, right here. And the same thing right here. But you're all destroyed, so whatever. <sighs> One second. So, uh, let's see. You are pushing in. Oh, no. You're not pushing in and you shouldn't be pushing in. What you should have is at least an offensive plan. So I get a planning bonus. So I might be able to invade. And finally clean you out of this. And you have finished off the last speck of resistance that were left in South Africa, South America. But the Falkland over there, uh, probably gonna ignore you. And let's see, how's the invasion going? I completely forgot to double check you and that's probably gonna pay me. Actually, that's gonna probably gonna be 
quite harsh. Maybe not. Maybe I've just overestimated how good the Australian have been because it's really just been United States. Troops from United States all the time. Maybe. Because this is going great. And now, come on, just grab that single port. I'm going to assign all the other troops right there. 24 units, that will probably be quite enough. Actually, let's just do this. Grab all one. Let's grab a good line. No, no, you're not returning. You're still going this way. Cool. And you 24 units. Let's secure a landing area. And yeah, let's push. Because you seem to be able to handle it just fine. Nice. You're, you're going to stand here until the end of the times. You are slowly pushing forward. No. Yes. Maybe. Yes. No. No. Definitely not. Okay. Where's an air race? We have none. We have none. Okay. We need to fix that too. Level 10 air base. Here we go. I'm building it right here because we might lose that. Because they push you back. Air bases just... Airplanes are so important in grabbing areas. Especially when they're har hard... Well, w when they're well defended. Most of the areas have been be able to just fall that quickly because their air force haven't been able to do, do the difference long term, which they do. Especially if they're players, you need that fleet or uh, air base. You need that <laughs> air force for the love of God. How can some words just slip through my head? You need your air force. But um, against the AI, sometimes really good tanks is all you need. And sometimes, otherwise in love, uh, other times in life, all you need is love. As this beautiful, beautiful song says. And now I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this division down. Maybe. Seems like some of the divisions are really, really bad, and some divisions are really, really good. Okay, uh, let's do maintenance company, because, well, kind of good. Uh, how many more days? We have no more days, because we can declare the war. And now, I would like to do one thing, and I don't want you to fall for the up of... I'm gonna right click right here, and you are not gonna stop a single moment. You're just going straight away, the entire way, and you're not stopping for anything, right? You understood? Yeah, we have some US soldiers here, but I just want you to steam through that. You shouldn't have any trouble. It's 20 medium tanks. You might get halted a tiny bit, but you're just gonna go straight forward. Good. Let's just jump straight here. And I forgot to clean up that small island. That could have been horrendous and a, a really bad thing because they could just... If they had one troop stationed right there, they could just gone past, taken port, and all these troops would have been without supply. So, uh, no, you should be going straight like this and you should be going straight into them. Or not at all. You should just be staying straight there. All of you assigned right there, please push here, and yeah, I don't need that many troops to follow the Panama Canal, thank you. And I hopefully you're just continuing. Yes, you are. Nice. Finally, stuff is going, <laughs> going by plan. And you were, you were broken. Yeah, you did manage. They all retreat to this position, regain organization, and then come back. And I still don't have the time to actually bring all of them down. And it, El Salvador <laughs> is asking to join my faction. Well, El Salvador, how many units do you have? Six divisions, that's more than your neighbors. So you could be quite an acid, but what's also a big acid, it's, it's your land. And they should probably go to me. No, oh god. Right, because you don't have an or order assigned right there now. I want five divisions right there. The other units, along with you, ten, go straight forward. Cool. Oh, overrun? No, maybe. And you are still fighting on right here. We have no other naval invasions. Look for you took back your small island. <laughs> well done, but that far, but no further. Let's see how the supply right here. Horrendous. Let's fix that. Fix this, and let's see. Yeah, of course it's level one port. Of course it's a level one port. The AI is not playing Australia like me. I fixed my ports. Let's see if we can bring that unit down now. It's gonna be supply problems right here, and let's see. No, you don't have an air force either, or air base right there, so let's fix that. Actually, you have, but it's not under my control. But still, I can build it. 
So it's probably somewhere in this area. Uh, that would be interesting. <laughs> I'm building up an air force I can't even see right now. Cool. So right here we are maybe pushing forward. No, we're not. We have an airbase right now, so let's assign 300 fighters. Actually, let's double check. Yeah, 300 fighters. I just checked their numbers in the area. And it should definitely be enough with 300 fighters and 100 closer support to bring this down to my control. And that's the entire island. Cool. So how's the air battle going on right here? We have control and let's check the losses. Nice. We are killing more than we're losing. So I say that's a win. And Costa Rica, you are very soon under our control. It seems like you are still holding on quite bravely. Oh wait, uh, troops from Australia. Oh, that would be kind of nice actually. When Australia fall, hopefully most some troops just generally in other areas will fall and just go back to, well, disappear, disband. So that might actually help us quite a lot. And yeah, supply is still horrible. Please just hold out. Uh, actually, hold out, that does not mean just attack. Uh, Australia assumes responsibility for colonial holdings. Oh, you did that focus now. So everything right here should become Australian. That was UK and UK doesn't have any more land right here. British Malaya has fallen. All oh, right, because now Costa Rica has fallen. Okay, cool. And that means we can continue on. So, how's the supply right here? Very, very bad. It's good right here because we can transfer so much supply from our past areas. But other, in, other ways, other than that, not the best. Let's fix level 10 port right here. And uh, let's promote it. Always build infrastructure with your advances. Right now, the tanks are so superior to the troops they are challenging. It well, no, it's no, no problem right now. But if there were just a decent enemy, let's say a Mexico that had taken over all of this, I would have so much trouble breaking all of that. But luckily, it's the AI. Even though we have it fully buffed, when I play a large nation as Japan, unfortunately, I bring them down quite handily. And you're actually doing quite well now, regarding issues. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, you have an increased attrition rate, which is bad, but... Let's see how the loss is right now. 39,000 and it's gone a couple of months, I think, since lost. So we have definitely decreased our medium tanks losses by removing all of those from the template. And I say we're, they're still pretty goddamn good. And how's this going? We have taken the air superiority, but it's not the best. So I think I want to increase this to, well, well what does it become? Uh, 700? And, yes, 700. And reinforcement should go quite quickly. Yeah. How's it going? Yes, we took basically all air superiority. And let's see your losses. Enemy air superiority minus 46%. That's nice. But it's going to be super hard to break that actually. So I'm going to just let you be laid a tiny bit. All of you 19 divisions. Because you need more infrastructure. Are we ever going to be finished with all of the infrastructure we're building? No, basically not. But when we have, the world's infrastructure is going to thank me. Well, may mostly because I destroy it and then I rebuild it when once it's mine. But, well, you, you get the point. And we broke them. Cool. Now we just have to break that small island. And that would be excellent. Uh, let's see. Can Caribbean Sea. Or which airbase is that? Yeah, I guess it's the Caribbean Sea. And let's just double check. We have air superiority. So that should be it. But I severely doubt that we can actually break them right there. Let's try. Because now we're, when we have assault order on, it's just continuously gonna attack always with all tanks. And I think we can slowly, slowly wear them down. Or I'm talking complete bullshit and uh, you should never listen to me when I talk strategy. I think that's one of the cases. I'm just trying to sound very, very confident. <laughs> and how are you doing? Okay, did I start just fight against you? Yes, I did. Nice. I want to do... Actually, I can do you two at the same time. You two. 
Oh wait, you I'm already at war with you. The same not with Mexico. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. That's great. I was really worried that Mexico is just gonna be a pain. I'm probably gonna add lots of nail invasion from both sides and invade Mexico. I need to bring them down as quickly as possible. Because the United States can just pull so many troops in, into Mexican territory. And that would be really bad. That They have quite horrible terrain. Just mountains, mountains, mountains everywhere. When we get into U US territory, well, it's mountains, mountains, mountains. But at least they have plains right here. They have plains, they have plains, they have forest. Plains, plains. So basically my plan of attack is gather up at the Mexican border and go in this way. Straight to Washington. I think it's only mountains right here, if I recall correctly. Some forests, but that's not too bad. Yeah, all the way to, uh, to Washington. And if I grab that, I will have a big large front which I can use sending reserve units and bring un uh, United States down. Me uh, mountains can be a real pain if you have a small front. If the front is large enough and your army superiority is large enough, it doesn't matter if the mountains, you can bring them down anyway. And yeah, this battle is just gonna go horrendously so we're gonna do the same old tactic that I love you guys welcome to this army actually even more you 17 welcome to that army you 6 you have a new task welcome to garrison duty your order is to stand there and be bored while holding back those troops yeah that's assigned to this one <laughs> I got a tiny bit uncertain right there. Otherwise in that, well, let's remove, God, let's remove these orders. I'm getting kind of annoyed at them. You're done already. Relax. And let's take your order and you should invade. Well, we can go right away to Greenland. I don't think there should be any troubles right there. And remove you and add this one. And you're going to be on, yeah, convoy escort. Cool. We have a massive fleet right here. I think this is the only fl oh wait no it's submarines <laughs> I was gonna say I think that's the only fleet that is still undamaged but no it was just submarines so three more days come on oh wait you are actually not at a port actually you can just invade whenever you feel ready just go for it as quickly as possible and these five wars they were done let's declare them Half of you, please go straight for the capital. We can wait a tiny bit with this. Actually, we can not declare the war right now, but now we can. And now we will. Let's declare that war. Let's pull half of these troops right up here to the capital. And that should basically be it for that nation too. So two quick wars, two quick victories, two nations fallen. I don't know, I wanted to get like figure out some cool slogan or something like that but no uh, US is annoying as usual sending more volunteers to everyone I attack stop it <laughs> this is one good thing or th this is one bad thing with my ID that I should wait with US the last if I bring them down very quickly or quite early then you don't have to deal with this United States and their kindred spirit of sending volunteers everywhere and Honduras, yes, you have fallen, but all the troops that are left are not yours, so they won't disband. So let's just bring those units down, and you should just rush that capital, actually. El Salvador, you have tried to join us so many times, I want to give you an honorable death or something like that. Because, well, you could have been a, such a good way of getting to North America. Just land a billion troops right here, and then bring you down, but... I, I wanted to be the sole nation left in the entire world. So let's give you an honorable death by tanks. I don't think anyone has ever said that in the entirety of the world. Honorable death by tank. I want that written on my gravestone. Death by tank. Though I would rather not die by tanks. That could probably be excruciating painful. Yeah, never mind. I take that back actually. You, you may be right. Death by tank. Hash in within parentheses, not really, or something like that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting real off topic now. <laughs> so, um, this invasion, house supply. Come on, guys. 
I think we're gonna start our second invasion. That seems to be the only way. Or how are you doing? Yes, I stopped you for some reason. I stopped you because it seems like United States have pulled away your troops from there. So let's just go in and bring down the Philippines right now. Cool. And you are holding on st quite strongly. Oh, you're retreating there, retreating there, back and forward all the time. I need to break both of them at the same time. Kind of. But eventually they will get worn down when organization can't keep up. And grab this province now, please. Come on. Cool. Overrun. So, here's my plan. All of these 35 tanks get right here. But I'm only gonna use, let's say, 20 or so right here. I'm gonna take three of you. Whoa, we have ports everywhere. That's excellent, actually. So you're gonna go in straight there. No, no, you're not. You three divisions. You're gonna go in quite high. Like, right there. Uh, you three divisions. You're going from that province. Let's see. I know the second capital is gonna spawn somewhere right here. So you're gonna go straight there. I'm gonna take three divisions from here, so unselect you and you. I don't really care which divisions. You're gonna go from here, and you're gonna go in right there. And you two plus one more unit. Okay, I find no other unit. Let's grab this one random. Cool, it was correct. And no, I need to find this one from this province. You're gonna go in straight there. Uh, it might be intercepted by US troops, but we'll see. And U4, yeah, why not? U4, yeah, but uh, U4 divisions, please go in straight there. So basically I'm just going to try to take the entire nation at the same time. But for that I need a fleet. And let's see if my fleet will <laughs> betray me now, or if I actually have a fleet I can use. So all of you guys... You are na from now, this moment, one fleet. I don't care that it's too many carriers. I need to use it. So, convoy escort. Uh, you're gonna get a new home port also. Uh, let's use... Well, really? All of you are level 1 ports? Level 1, level 1, and level... Okay, whatever. But yeah. As soon as you arrive there, you should get some longer reach. And that should probably be right. Actually, shouldn't. Because these are level 1 destroyers, so level 2. Actually... This entire range will be actually fine, that's all I need. And it's from the other side, I need that one and that one. Oh, let's find... Right here, the Japanese fleet 2. Actually, quite, still quite nice. Okay, let's stop with your order, you're gonna defend that and that area. And let's see, how many divisions do we have straight here? 19 divisions, so almost what I said. I said 20, but yeah. And you're gonna be as aggressive as freakingly possible, and we need to bring them down straight away. And 800 planes, I don't think that would be enough. So I want to just build up a couple of air bases while we still have time here. Uh, first, 800 fighters, because that's the most important thing. I love fighters. Actually, we can have inception at the same time. And let's see here, 800 more, sure. Because I've, I'm pretty sure I upgraded, well, the fighters I'm currently producing. The fighters I'm currently producing, let's double check. Mark 1, you are upgraded, uh, let's see, with range, range reliability, perfect, exactly one thing, so it was so long ago we actually upgraded them, so I kind of forgot, and yeah, I could actually just be selecting these straight away, instead of just picking that one and let them reinforce by change, so this is looking much better now, and that's gonna be, well, 2400, let's see, do we have any more air bases we can use, 1, 1, 1, 1, and maybe you... I'm not 100% sure, but let's try it out. Maybe you just will have enough range. Yeah, basically. <coughs> so, I will actually t I will actually assign you too. But you are going to beat this area. Because, well, you can destroy my infrastructure. I'm desperately trying to rebuild right here. Cool, uh, let's add a level 10 base right there. I picked the only province that did not have any original <laughs> port. Uh, let's add one on each side. 
bumped infrastructure and I want, let's see, this one to the maximum and I want a radar station right there and right there. Yes, we're gonna do this for real. I might not wait for the entire time for everything to finish, but I want to kind of at least have everything ready and set up. Why haven't you left? Right, because if I'm not forcing you to go straight there, then you won't actually do it. Even if, oh wait, even if you even if you have that port assigned to you, you will actually go around the entire world. All oh, right, because I actually have supplied the entire world, but not <laughs> right here. Whatever, it's gonna take some time, but I actually have the time. We have other stuff to do. Let's see, this invasion, you are kind of down. Let's see, do we have any more troops? No, we don't. Okay, you 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 will have to finish this now because I need you guys some other place. Uh, actually, I would have to do another naval invasion if I want to clean this up completely. At least I can grab you three divisions and just tell you to begin. Do I have? Do I even have? Yes. So let's see, where do I have my fleet station right now? Right here. So I'm gonna tell you to transfer to let's say this port. I don't care how you do it, just get over there. You 11 divisions, you have a horrible supply problem right now. But I'm kind of guessing you can still beat them. Actually, I will have to grab that problem too. Please just try at least. And be aggressive because I don't care. Just try to bring them down. Constantly attacking with our superior soft attack will slowly wear down this the troops from the United States and that will like if you don't care about losses you can do it this way most likely you care about losses so you shouldn't do it this way yeah now they are falling quite quickly the troops from Philippines don't stand a chance and suddenly we have lots of division from the US coming as reinforcement come on come on bring them down good move in Grab the lost province and I will be really happy. And a victory all of Japan will remember. Well, all of Japan, yeah, indeed, all of Japan. <laughs> so, um, I think this will be the big epic beginning of the next episode. So I will actually wait a tiny bit more. Just so we have something set up and something ready for the next episode. Just we begin the next episode, start and boom, it will blow up. Uh, let's see, I can assign some more fighters right here. Uh, let's add, yeah, let's just add 1,000, <laughs> only 1,000, and let's assign something else. Let's see, here's a close air support. Do, am I not actually producing better close air support? Re level 2 is the best I have. I feel I'm assigned the tactical bombers, like they are really good right now. It's level 3 tactical bombers. They're not going to do as well as some other units could, but you're going to have the range for it. 90% range. That's awesome. And we're also rebuilding this quite a lot. So let's see, that's 42 more days before you're completely finished. And uh, let's see, Gulf of Mexico. We actually... Let's see, Gulf of Mexico. We don't have the superiority right here. Enemy ships, yeah, they, we, they are more enemy ships than we have friendly ships right there. So we might have to do this. Naval bombers, you are very much welcome into the army once again. So 400 naval bombers, please assign right here. Let's do like this. Not por uh, not ports, right, but naval. Let's see, and we're gonna do the same thing with fighters. All I need is one second. We have superior right there, let's see. Mexican coast, Mexican coast, okay. It's basically just here, but well, I don't have my ship sign right there, right now. So with this, we can support this area. I just have to quickly reassign my air base, remove these and increase the tactical bomber amount. Cool, okay. We can do that. Uh, let's just have the game running while we do other stuff. And right now we're just waiting for better stuff. And nuclear bombs, yes, we kind of need it. We have been nuked, or well, our, the territory we occupy have been nuked several times, but never we, really. So we're still defending quite bravely right here. I wonder how many possible naval invasions we have defended. We have these horrible, horrible naval battles here. But right now it seems like we finally have the... 
finally have the superiority. How, how large of a fleet do you US have? 260 to 300, so I guess around 300. Canada, well, nothing to speak of. And we, f right, we took this, but we never did anything with it. Wait, did it? Where the hell is the troop? Did you die? Maybe you did. Oh wait, you don't have a port right here. I'm gonna build a port right there and see if we can just grab it for us. Then the troops would very much easily just be able to get there. 30 more days, okay, you're gonna get there when you eventually can, so... Let's see, naval battle. <laughs> One of the destroyers were damaged by two of my naval bombers, cool. Uh, God, 1000 on my side. Yeah, we're just wrecking their ships right now. Yeah, we lost some ship, but they lost one uh, well, heavy cruiser, some fighters. We lost quite a bit more, but we have so many more. It doesn't matter. We can deal with the losses. They can't. Actually, let's see what happens if we do this. God. <laughs> That was so many fighters that disappeared, and so many fighters are continuously disappearing. Holy shit! We sent away 300 fighters to their death, and we just instantly reinforce it, but... They lost quite a lot in doing it. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, uh, let's stop it right now. Uh, I think we want to keep our fighters for now. God. That was horrible. I never want to do that again. <laughs> the losses must have been crazy. Crazy. Oh, actually, we have, actually, we have 30,000 reserves. I only want you on <laughs> Kamenikaze strike duty. For a while, at least. Actually, might, they might be even better if they have some support. Well, normal fighter support. So I'm just gonna sign in on doing both. And I probably want some more fighters. Let's see, how much have you built? Yeah, you're gonna be increased to the maximum, so I kinda need more. Let's see, uh, let's find the fighters, let's assign 400, you're gonna get changed out, so whatever. And you're also gonna be assigned, but only on fighter duty. Let's see if we can bring that navy down a bit more. And that would actually help our naval superiority right here. Enemy ship still 36, but we are bringing them down very, very slowly. By throwing away several hundred of our fighters. God, that's not pretty. And right here, U7 actually. We have not feared a single naval elevation here the, the entirety of the game. So I'm actually going to be throwing, aw throwing away my one rule of... Always have some reserves. Okay, you are now done. Actually, we are not completely done right here. We actually have to go. This will be one more very siegeable battle. So um, we're gonna do the same thing we have done at several positions. Welcome to garrison order. We took half of Philippines. That's gonna be good enough. And you are gonna be assigned to this order, and we are gonna invade them very slowly. And uh, let's see. Did we remove this order? No, we did not. Let's remove it. Actually, it would probably be best if we just removed all of the orders. Yeah, actually, let's remove all of the orders and then just go straight there. With every unit I have. I don't care where they are, but go right there. Cool. Cool. Okay, um, we are almost done with the naval invasion of... Well, naval preparation invasion of Mexico. So, let's see. We should definitely have naval superiority right here. Yeah, 100 ship versus zero. So, can we execute it? Yes, we can. We have all possible divisions stationed right there. Cool. Actually, we're... Why are you not stationed right there? You should stand right there. Now, let's see. Some of the divisions are not stationed at their positions. What? Because of supply issues. But I don't, I don't care about supply issues. You should do exactly what they say. Let's see uh, if I can guess the last one. You free? You you definitely are in position. Are you? <laughs> okay, I will I will look into that <laughs> shortly. Actually, it might just be that they're not in. They're not straight here, where you should be. 
and house supply right here okay it's looking tiny bit better not the best at the front line if we just could fix that everything would just solve itself so i guess the nail port we're building right here will solve it but i think i want to add one more right here and let's say why not one, one more right there because why not like i said a quick nice clean invasion of mexico that's what we need and is this out of time yes it is actually so let's not do that one but let's do rocket right here and let's double check the naval results right here okay nothing special okay we brought down one more ship right there two more here it's just becoming red rather rather by all the blood our japanese pilots have done let's see the losses right now 500 ouch and i don't even know if that is counted in shot down by aa okay so it seems like that does not include our our brave Kamikaze bombers. Oh god. Yeah, let's just stop with it. Let's let's yeah, let's just stop with it. Please. And just try to defend it right now. Alright. I think we're basically done. Let's justify this war and end the episode with this being done. We're ready everywhere else, I think so. And you guys are gonna start a preparation invasion from here and i'm gonna actually gr try to grab a port this time or well as close to it as you possibly can without actually being on the port no i want that Pfft, not delete stupid 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 okay uh let's actually no 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 the other province was better unselect it and grab that one because well this was a river to the port and city this is not a river as simple as that and you are now gonna need something new you're defending this island that island but you're gonna remove that one and go straight down here so giving a tiny bit more time it's gonna take 10 days to pre prepare those small troops those three troops uh, you are trying to break free here but we're holding you off you're probably gonna try to do the same thing right here but we're also gonna hold you off right there this is looks better looks like a real invasion all we need is some more paratroopers come on how many more days that's not what i want to see i want to see this area okay one more day and there we have it justification against mexico is done and that also marks the finishing oh god it actually became much longer than i usually do or much much longer a bit longer um but thank you guys for watching this episode of Yap <laughs> the japanese blitzkrieg whatever wh whatever i call this house of the rising sun <laughs> and i hope you guys like this episode like comment subscribe and all that nice stuff and i will see you guys next time bye actually let's not only see you next time let's say that you are bringing a random friend to say look at this awesome guy and press that subscribe button okay cool thanks bye and bye